Hey everyone, this is Grace the Nurse. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm gonna play another cool case on Full Code Medical. So Full Code Medical is a medical simulation game. It's a great way to uh, review anything that you've learned as a nursing student, medical student, nurse, resident, you get the idea. So I'm going to play one of the cases where I scored low because um, yeah, I like to get the best score ever. Oh, that's a Filipino accent, I'm Filipino. So we're gonna play fall in the hospital because this can happen, unfortunately. And I got 40%, what the heck? So <laughs> I wanna improve that. And I did not look at the answers afterwards. So there you go. All right, so let's click on it. Floor nurse. Patient is admitted to the med surge floor for cellulitis and was on Q4 vitals. Found him on the floor, we placed a seat collar and moved him back to bed, which is good. Anytime anyone has fallen, you want to stabilize their neck. So putting on a seat collar is one of the acceptable things to do. So they called RRT, rapid response. Here is our fallen patient. Ooh. So heart rate is low, blood pressure is high. Uh, respirations are normal, luckily pulse oxing well. And what the heck, by the way, because I'm a nurse, what, what's up with the side rails? I know we're not allowed to put up all four side rails, but this dude just fell. Hello, hello, anyway. Um, just say it. <laughs> Jonathan Woods, 71 years old, full code of course. He was found on the floor in the hospital, minimally responsive. Fall was unwitnessed. Uh oh, he's losing consciousness. Oh snap. Okay, let's get back to our gentleman then. Um, so if he is losing consciousness, let's intubate him because that's not good. Yeah, we are going to intubate. Okay, so he is intubated. And because he is intubated right away, uh, we want to get an x-ray. So anytime anyone is freshly intubated, you want to get an x-ray just to verify where the ET tube is at. So imaging, chest x-ray, there you go. Okay, let's look at the x-ray. Hello, okay, perfect. ET tube, good position, three centimeters above the carina. So, excellent. All right, so now that we protected his airway, so whenever you're taking care of a patient, always remember ABC safety. So now we protected his airway, he's breathing well. So anytime anyone's intubated, I always like to put in another IV just because, you know, in case something happens. Uh, so we're gonna put a second IV, absolutely. And you wanna do this while the patient is stable. You don't wanna do it when they're coding because yeah, it just gets crazy. Here's his medications, cefazolin, that's a type of antibiotic that's for the cellulitis, warfarin for the AFib, hydrochloric thiazide, lisinopril, amlodipine. That is for hypertension and trazodone uh, has two different uses. Um, it could be used for sleep or it's also an antipsychotic. Anyway, no known allergies, family history, nothing in the chart. Current smoker, oh snap. Okay, so we can't ask him anything because he's unconscious and intubated. Let us start a sedation drip because he is intubated. So let's see what type of drip. Let's do a propofol infusion. I like propofol because um, if it starts working a little too well, AKA crashing the pressure, once you turn it off, it's out of the patient's body very quickly. Additionally, because he has some sort of neuro problem, I want to avoid giving him any opioids because opioids, uh, one of the side effects is decreased level of consciousness. And if the patient starts developing increased ICP, that is one of the side effects of ICP, uh, decreased level of consciousness. So you wanna try to avoid giving opioids in any patient with a neurological issue. And by the way, because he's laying flat to prevent increased ICP, I wonder if I can raise his head a bit. I wonder if that'll let me do it. Uh, head, oh no, okay. So it won't let me do it, but also to prevent increased ICP, you wanna elevate the head a bit to at least 30 degrees. That way it'll help prevent any increased ICP. Six centimeter deep laceration, left frontal parietal scalp. So that's about here, neuro, Intubated, paralyzed, whoa, left pupils fixed and dilated. That's not good. So FYI, anytime a patient is intubated, their pupils should be should still be reactive bilaterally. Fixed and dilated, oh snap. Okay, so we're not gonna waste any time. Uh, we are gonna get a whole bunch of testing and a CT of the head because fixed dilated pupil, no good. So 
Let's order a whole bunch of labs, EKG because he is an AFib. We're gonna get a finger stick blood sugar because he did fall and he was unresponsive. So we just wanna rule out any hypoglycemia. Lab work, uh, because he's intubated, absolutely ABG. Uh, pretty much every patient that has an emergency situation, BMP, CBC, and coagulation panel, because he is on warfarin, which is anticoagulant. So I'm kind of curious to see what his INR level is. So let's get to the CT. We're gonna do CT of the head, absolutely. Whoa! Patient's pupils are now unequal. Oh, snap. So CT of the head, this is bad. This is really bad. So this big white spot, that is blood. That is a uh, intracranial hemorrhage. And when it says midline shift, so usually when it comes to the brain, there's a midline. See how it looks like the brain is kind of getting squished? So because this blood is now taking up space in the brain, it is shifting the midline of the brain. So diagnosis, no good. Yeah, so we, we need to fix that. What do I want to do with this patient? We are going to give mannitol right away. So mannitol is an osmotic diuretic. And what that's going to do is help decrease any edema to help try to, you know, prevent any further increase in ICP. Because he already has increased in ICP. Mannitol is given. All right, next. Oh gosh, so this is really bad. So this is how you know uh, something neurological terrible is happening because now the blood pressure is extremely high, heart rate is low. So basically what the body's trying to do is it's trying to push as much blood to the brain to perfuse the brain. So it'll shoot the blood pressure really, really high. So yeah, this guy, uh, very high risk for um, hemorrhagic CVA. And your surgeon will meet the patient in the OR. Make sure you have sent pre-op labs. Great job. Yeah. High five. Nope, no one high five me. Dang, left me hanging. So anytime you send someone to the OR, you're always gonna get a blood type and screen just in case they need blood. So he has a sub epidural hematoma. Epidural hematoma, there you go. Handoff, uh, we are gonna go straight to the OR because they need to drain that blood. Epidural hematoma. Yay, Woohoo! My score is 91.7, 91.7, 91.7. 91 so please check back soon to watch me play more full code cases. Great medical game. Uh, as I mentioned, you can download it for free on the Apple Store, Google Play, or go to their actual website. Great way to review your nursing, uh, medical school knowledge, or if you're a nurse, resident, you know, it's fun. All right, thank you so much, bye.